hello everyone so in this video we are going to talk about building components so in previous videos we have created this set of components uh, and we were building the application with the help of webpack config and uh, babel okay we were running npm run start and we are able to launch the application on the local host these things we have already seen now what if if you have decided not to use create react app and you are using using only this webpack and babel and you are writing the webpack configurations and you started writing your application so in that case you can keep writing there is no issues with that uh, we, here we have index.js you can create your own child components like uh, here i wanted to create a cart component so i will say index.js here this is the cart component this is the product component so in this video i will try to show you how we can create a parent child component Simple example is this, uh, I will just import this everywhere. This is my parent component. And similarly, I will create, okay, let's put it as a product component only for the name. And this is my cart component and I'm writing class based component. So you have to export these also, so I am doing export default. And from the product I am exporting it. Because we have created a, some component, right? Uh, you can consider this is a module. You have to export it also somewhere so that you can use this module, right? So I'm saying uh, this is my product, this is my cart and I am importing both these components in index.js. So how can I do this? Import cart from the cart folder. I mean you don't need to specify index.js if the component is like this. Now how can I create this parent child relationship is? Just create a component tag. Okay. Similarly, I can have a product. I just need to import product also from there. This will be coming from product. and we have product.js instead of index.js that is fine so now we have created these two components if you make any mistake obviously this component will fail we have product and we have cart component okay this is compiling both now if you just see the output how it look like then we can see uh, we can just curl on this or we can open the browser. Right. So this is how we have created a parent component and these are the two child components, cart and product. Now how it works is in React component, we will have many components. One is a parent, one is child. You will be passing data from parent component to the child component. How you can do this simply like if I wanted to pass something from this to there, like name equal to say I am passing hello name equal to Tarun okay this so you can just you don't need to put double quotes I mean braces because you are passing constant only so this is the property right how can I access it here I can just pass I can just use console.log if you wanted to see using props props will help us to get what is being passed from parent component to child this props.name, so property name is name and here I'm printing it in the render function, right? So I got the name property. I can pass the same property down to my cart component and same property to the product component. Now in the cart component, I can access this dot props.name. These are just nothing but just a glimpse of how data will pass from parent to child to uh, grandchild component. This is the parent. Now I am just passing props.name. This component will further 
sent to the child component child component can access it so you will see we are using some keyword props and in coming videos we will talk about state right so props and state these are the two things you need to understand to understand react everything is every everything is very easy props is some some object which is helping us to pass the data from parent component to the child component every component will have props which represents the properties which it is receiving from the parent component and state component is something which a component will have just to update itself based on some change right so state is something like a dynamic whenever it is changing we will see the change on the ui because react component itself will call this render function automatically whenever the state is getting changed and how we declare state we can just write a constructor okay so we'll write constructor and we'll just access props and here you can see this dot this is our uh, this is how our state is going to be in this state you can define okay i need the cart items is actually empty array so i'm putting that in the state object that's right? so this particular attribute this state i will keep changing and whenever whenever the state is getting changed this render component will re-render this render function will re-render and we will see the change happening on the ui because what is showing the content on the ui the render function this is actually representing and returning the jsx this render function right so whenever the render function gets called this will return the new set of jsx values and we will see the change happening on the ui okay this is a very simple examples like this is how the react component is going to be we will write child component parent component you can have n number of components now further cart component will have a cart list cart item product component can have a product list product item component and we will keep just nesting these components like we have done here here we are using the this parent component is having cart component as a child product component as a child and you will be passing some data to these components same data can be accessed to the child component okay uh, thanks everyone so we have covered most of the aspects of webpack in the next video let's create a small application so we will get some hands on on the parent child